Here's a turn one. Delaware from Kaplan. Invite a co-host to join you. Yeah, maybe down the road. Hardcore, hardcore offline says, what do you think about proxies for whom can't afford the cards but still want to play? Um, yeah. I mean, wh- why wouldn't you just use proxies if you're just looking to play? Phil just rapping in the background? Yeah. Attacking for one. All right, Sam, bring up live totals for all of us watching. Thank you, Sam. There it is. Luchery revealed at the top of the screen. That's the companion. And a volcanic island. And counterbalance. The co-host was enjoy the extra glass of water. Yes, yes. <laughs> As I was saying during the break, I now have two glasses of water next to me. Uh, All right, Solitude pitching meddling mage. Interesting. You do get some... Uh, Spicy cards in these Lutri decks because the deck has to be singleton. Counterbalance now resolves. Ponder revealed on top will counter the abundant growth with counterbalance. Dragon's Rage Channeler. Ponder Surveil. Putting Volcanic Island in the graveyard. And now resolving Ponder. Is this a comet list? I don't believe so, but I don't know. We don't gather deck lists at every single event that we're covering. Okay. The event we're watching right now is just the Legacy Weekly at my LGS. We have people walking in two minutes before the round one pairings are posted. There's no, log- there's no logistical way to collect all the deck lists. But deck list we do gather, and a lot of the players who play on the channel regularly do occasionally post their deck list. It's that is all happening in our Discord server. If you're interested in deck lists, join our Discord server. Links are down below for that. I'll share the link in the live chat as well. And I post all my all of my deck lists in there as well. All right, here's a tundra. And Delver reveals lightning bolt on top, so that'll flip. Yes, Keith Mastaflex with a great question. How do we find the deck list? <laughs> yeah, I agree, Inkwalder. Comet should be in this deck. Lightning bolt surveil. I'll take three. I needed a hit on uh, All right, Lightning Bolt was able to surveil a Murktide into the graveyard to give Kaplan Delirium and hit for six. End step, Hole Breacher. Maybe it was waiting for a cantrip before casting that. But it resolves, and a flood strand was revealed as the top card of the deck, although it can be manipulated with surveil if Kaplan has instance. Uh, 
no way to shuffle currently. Brainstorm quite good in combination with counterbalance, of course. Memory deluge. No, it's an instant speed, and I look at four cards. I look at cards equal to the cost, okay. Okay, so if you flash it back at seven, you um, get to look for four? Uh, yeah. Like, you know, like. Kaplan not familiar with memory deluge. <laughs> card's pretty good. Not sure if it's a legacy power level, but. But yeah. Plus I have like a personal card again. What uh what kind of sleeves are those things? It's a it's a KMC character card. It is triple. Oh yeah. Yeah. Of course. Cool. Trigger. I'll keep go to seven. Uh sure. I'll keep Okay. Um yeah, actually. Let's go ahead. All right, force pitching Merktide on the memory deluge. Putting the flooded strand that was on top into the graveyard. Attacking for six. Attacking with Hull Breacher. Really much point in keeping Holbreacher back here. The creatures on Kaplan's side are flying. Regrowth targeting abundant growth. Regrowth. I believe targeting solitude. Targeting abundant growth. That's right. Yeah. Okay, targeting abundant growth actually. Regrowth targeting abundant growth. Days. Surveil. Yeah. I'll leave it on top. I'll pay one. <laughs> I'll fail the reveal. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. Um, what, did, what did you keep? Play a uh, Mysterian Forest. Uh, play a bit. Good games. Good game one. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Counterbalance gives that kind of. Yeah, yeah. Good. Counterbalance makes me feel like I lost the match already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So game one goes to Kaplan. We're headed to game two here. Sam will be on the play. And a wasteland. Consider. Okay. Uro goes into the graveyard. Polio says, how are we feeling about main deck counterbalance in Delver? I, th I think most Delver players would tell you that's the right move right now. Correct me if I'm wrong, Delver people. I think it's, I think it's getting a lot of main deck slots. Uh, DRC is a one. Okay, I'll just check this I'm going to lock down. I need to check something. I think I'm running. Dragon's Rage Chandler. How many counterbalance? Who took one? Two between the two between the two. Did you play it every. No, it wouldn't have mattered between the two. I wasn't drawing a land. It's not as good between the two because you have those last. Game one, I'll snap back. 
Dave Kaplan is here. Says it feels right, but taxing on the brain. Yeah, it's tough. Cosmetic ending on Dragon's Rage Channeler. Able to pay for days. And a wasteland on Savannah. Pretty good. Holding off a row for now. Misty Rainforest Pass. I love that. I've been running this one. I love this one. Sacking Misty Rainforest. Yeah, I saw some people who were doing similar decks to what I'm doing where you cut the delvers. I've seen people running like three and running two bullets, but I don't know. I know you only would combine like that. Can I cast impulse on your own step? Impulse on end step. Impulse is fun. Uh, Brainstorm in yeah, response, maybe looking for a daze. <laughs> your deck's blue red, so if I'm bringing in the blasts. I mean, I get what you're saying. I mean, these fun uh, this is three, uh, but I don't know. Yeah, it really was. There's definitely conflict. Yeah. That's I feel those times are outweighed by instead just, you know, not Getting a Volk, of course. No, you always keep Merc 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 And a days. All right, so there it is. Is this for called a Lutri? Yes. All right, waiting to see what the follow-up is here from Sam. Has an Uro in the graveyard, slowed down quite a bit by Wastelands. Plays a Misty Rainforest and cracks it. Finds Taiga. And Lutri to hand. So Lutri goes to hand. Dave Kaplan, not familiar with Lutri, but jotting down some notes here. And Ponder. And Ponder Shuffle. Brainstorm now for Sam. Five cards in hand.
Pyroblast on the brainstorm. Cluster storm to protect it. All right, so the the one of brainstorm in this Lutri pile is getting used here. Top. Birds of Paradise, okay. I think this deck is four color, not five color. Birds of Paradise is interesting. Can only really have one abundant growth, so maybe the bird is cool. So the deck with cards like Memory Deluge seems kind of mana hungry. But I don't think there are any Green Sun Zeniths in this deck. All right, so here's Murktide delving away four instants and sorceries, it looks like. So this will be a 7-7. Seven, seven. There it is. I'm passing the turn. Cracking Mr. Rainforest down to 17. Getting a Tundra. And Preordain. Path to exile. I guess on draw step, maybe upkeep. I think with path you want to wait for draw step, but maybe in this exact scenario it's fine on upkeep. Not sure. Kaplan thinking about how to respond to this path to exile. And it will resolve. I mean, it will make, make like 20 mana on turn 5 if you don't do anything. So it has a loop. And find a basic island. The idea being if you wait till draw step, if they draw the basic island, then they don't get an extra land. Considering that it's usually just a one of. All right, so it was upkeep. Expressive iteration.
instructor right here. I, I wrote it my number five in his hand. One card in hand. Flooded Strand into exile, gets put into play. And passing the turn. Getting escaped. Let's see if it resolves. Response fetch. countered. Wasteland is land for turn. Might try to knock out Uro for next turn. Maybe hitting Taiga here. Yep. I mean, there is a Birds of Paradise. Got to kill that too, but let's see. Got rid of Tropical Island. As things stand right now, could still escape Uro. It looks like a force of will and a daze are in hand for Kaplan. Cracking a flooded strand. Mystic Sanctuary. Could see Red Blast get placed on top. Expressive Iteration, maybe. I think we're going to see Red Blast, given that Uro is likely going to be... Uh, right, here's Brainstorm. So we're going to grab that Red Blast off the top. And any other goodies. But considering that Uro is, is uh, prepared to escape here, that Red Blast is pretty good. Expressive Iteration obviously is the same power level as Ancestral Recall and Yawgmoth's Bargain, <laughs> Skull Clamp, uh, but not in this situation. Right, everybody? It's, be it's better than those? Okay, Kayo saying it's better than those, yeah. Expressive Iteration might actually be the most broken magic card ever, according to Kaio. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I'll pass. All right, passing the turn, no escape Uro. Here's an expressive iteration. It'll resolve. Uh, 
and exhaling a brainstorm bottom and casting the brainstorm Brainstorm, of course, not as powerful as expressive iteration. But expressive iteration, untouchable. It is a format identity card, as we all know. White border brainstorm, interesting choice. Yeah, uh, Dave Kaplan is a collector of Korean uh cards and i believe this fifth edition brainstorm was the first ever printing of a korean brainstorm spank star thanks for the follow welcome hit the follow button if you like tabletop legacy or tabletop modern or tabletop pre-modern or if you're just here watching um, let's see here. So uh, looking at the graveyard now, okay. It happened quickly, but I, w I was thinking uh, it looks like it's likely that Kaplan has a Merc Tide looking at the graveyard there, and there it is. Yes, and hit the unfollow button if you prefer Yu-Gi-Oh. Exactly, exactly. Pre-modern building Pyro Oath at the moment. What, what's Pyro Oath? I don't even know what that is. What's the Pyro part? Pyro Blast on Petty Theft. Blue Blast on Pyro Blast. We know Kaplan has a red elemental blast, but Uro is dangerous. Let's see. A little bit of a giveaway here that there's a second, like if, if Red Blast. Okay. If Red Blast had been cast first, Sam might think that Kaplan is out of ammo, but knew about the, uh, the second blast because of Mystic Sanctuary. Oath of Druids and a lot of burn cards with Bloodflower Colossus as Oath Target. Interesting. Solitude pitching rip apart. Rip apart can uh, earn a couple of spicy emotes, I think. Solitude looks like it's going to hit Merc Tide here successfully. Nope. Firing off the... F so there was a force in days, right? So I guess we're thinking about using those now. Lutri can copy instants or sorceries. Haven't been used yet. Force pitching days, solitude countered. Um, and now I guess we'll escape Uro. We'll escape Uro. Yeah, rip apart is a spicy one. Misty Rainforest here. And getting a steam vents. So Uro facing down Merktide Regent. Two format identity cards that cannot be touched. Here's Mishra's Bob. Uh, 
Uh, didn't get to see what that was. Maybe we'll find out shortly. There's flooded strand. Tanking with Uro and triggering it. Murktai is a 7 7. It's getting blocked. Uro dies. Maybe a burn spell here? Tapping a red. Lightning bolt. Hard cast force. Hmm. Just escape Uro right back. So I'm not sure if we care about this getting countered. Although a Lutri here could copy Bolt. Let's see. It. Let's let's see that happen. That'll be kind of neat. One card left in hand. It looks like for Kaplan. I kind of I like the idea of responding to this with Lutri. Let's see. All right, the bolt gets counted. Lightning Helix. All right. Yeah, there was six damage on the uh, Murktide, yeah. Lightning Helix will remove um, Murktide. And here's Carpet of Flowers, which will add a lot of mana next turn. Looks like six mana will be available. Here's Expressive Iteration. <laughs> yeah, this is a four color control deck with Lutri as the companion. Lutri the Spell Chaser. So it's a. Uh, it has a lot of spice. The deck building constraints force some creativity here. Brainstorm with Dragon's Rage Chandler, Savelle. Put Flooded Strand into the graveyard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the cutest companion, exactly. Putting two back on top. Okay. Dragon's Rage Channeler. Number two. Okay. And playing land and pass. Uh, add blue. Adding six blue. And escaping Uro. Kaplan is hellbent. Four blue floating, but right. Four blue floating. Thank you. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna cast ponder, hold priority, Lutri. Yep. All right, double ponder happening here. Lutri getting cast to copy ponder. So a one mana ponder followed up by a three mana ponder, and an otter to come with it. As a bonus. We like otters, right, everybody? Don't we want otters? We need more magic otters. Yeah, Tribal Otter when Exactly. I hope Mark Rosewater sees this. 
enough with the elves and the goblins. We want, we just want some otters. It's, it's, it's really not that hard. Just give us otters. I believe Kaplan has delirium, yes. Lightning bolt into the yard. Delver into the yard. And Ponder resolving. It's been quite a grindy game, too. Carpet of Flowers adds so much mana. Maybe maybe Sam will just untap and cast Ulamog. What do you think, everybody? Is that possible? What's the likelihood of that? What are the odds? All right, attacking now with double DRC. Six damage. And passing the turn. Chili says odds are one in sixty. That's a, that sounds about right. Infinite gyre or ceaseless hunger is important. Come on, nobody uses infinite gyre. Come on, it's ceaseless hunger or bust. Nobody uses infinite gyre, people. Veil of summer on the submerge is just brutal. Uro gets in for an attack. Chili says I use infinite gyre in a draft once. Well, you know what, Chili? Good for you. What was it? Modern Masters 2015 that nobody liked? <laughs> I don't even know if it was in that set. All right, here's Abundant Growth. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Wow, Chili was drafting double masters too. That that's a, that's a baller move right there. All right, we're going to game three, everybody. Grind fest over here. It was in Modern Masters two. I thought so. I did draft Modern Masters two a bit. I like that set. There's Mishra's Bobble, Surveil and Murktide into the graveyard. Counterbalance. Pretty good. Leave it on top. Ouch. In that situation, if your opponent's leaving it on top, there's something good on top. Uro is on top of Sam's library. Did you print the card or bought? I'm not sure what you're referring to. All right, fetching a flooded strand. Here's a savanna. Path to exile on DRC. Reveals a Mishra's bobble on top, so it looks like this is going to resolve. DRC gone. Basic island is in play, so you can fail to find. Let's see if sh if uh, Kaplan elects to shuffle here. It looks like it. The land on top. So the. Okay. Here's a brainstorm. 
but I'll be able to set up some counterbalance stuff. Also, Kaplan has a Power Blast in hand, if I'm not mistaken. Putting two cards back on top now. And fetching with Misty Rainforest. Getting a Volk. Ponder. Flusterstorm on the Ponder, okay. Scalding Tarn, pass. Expressive. Looks like a regrowth is in hand for Sam. Could potentially get back Path to Exile if needed. Fetching in response to a Ponder. And Hull Breacher with Days as a potential response. All right, so I think that was just time in the round. I heard the chime in the background. I failed to draw. I got a treasure token. But whatever, get your treasure token, Sam. Come on. There it is. Okay, there it is. Near disaster. Can you imagine your opponent makes a treasure token and just puts like some random token face down? Come on, people. There are enough treasure tokens around. Let's go, people. Right, everybody? Nobody cares. Um, no. Is a Delver for Kaplan? We're not using coins or rings as tokens, people. We're not doing that, okay? It's not legal. You think Richard Garfield would be happy if he saw that? What do they? What do they print the treasures for? Come on, people. They've been putting treasure tokens in every other booster pack for three years. You don't have treasure tokens? These people are shameful. Oh, 
I always think about somebody just tuned in like 10 seconds before I say one of these things and they think, this guy is out of his mind. This guy is crazy. All right, here's a lightning helix on Delver. Uh, and those people will never be back. That's fine. Really? I've never played for Ember, but I have a buddy uh, go ahead with the uh, bubble trigger. This is turn four of extra turns here. Yep. I think we're s floating towards a draw. Expressive iteration. I'll go for this whole retry next stuff. Why not? Whole breacher on NSAP, because why not? <laughs> and it gets submerged. That's not um, the stack, right, exactly. I still have another one. Alright, um... Just playing so poorly. I just power blast. Big. And submerge. Alright, so submerge put the whole breacher back on top of the library. This is about to be turn five. Don't really see how Sam wins this or Kaplan wins this. Yeah, I think um, it's hard to say. It's not over. Draw is fine. I would take a draw. Good game, Sam. So it's fun. All right, 